going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. I wanted to take a second to do a little different video for you guys today on my new setup for the Note 20 Ultra that I've been using. Android's best feature is that it really has no walls, right? You can customize it as you want. You can really make it your own as opposed to how locked down iOS is. And one thing I want to show you today is the use of an app that has been phenomenal in my most recent devices that I haven't even shown you guys. But this is going to be my new launcher going forward with all that. And I want to show you just how clean of a layout you can get with this custom widget called KWGT. And I say widget, it's really a home to a ton of different widgets. As you can see here, if my camera will focus, there we go. I don't have my status bar showing anymore. You have actually your your, whether it's your Wi-Fi or your cellular indicator, you can see the battery percentage on the top, the weather, as well as the time now running vertical instead of horizontal. I think it gives it much cleaner of a look. You can really see how nice that looks and it's really minimal. Uh, I don't have my launcher, you can see your icon to launch your, your drawer if you want. I have my Google Home feed on the right, left hand side. It's, it's really clean and simple. but. For those of you that have never used it before, it can be a little overwhelming and you need more than one, I guess you can call it an app, to take advantage of all this. So I do have a custom icon pack on this as well. I'm using this on top of Nova. So for you familiar with Nova, you can see this looks pretty similar to the app tray you would get there. This is the KWGT widget and I should say app like I said because this really does house all the preset apps and widgets you can use as well as showing you the other installed apps that you've downloaded as well. So you can see I have Flow, Android Media, Music Mini Player, and the Bass Pack currently. But some of these widgets that range anywhere from the Google Now search engine to you know time, date, they are really unique and I think are some of the best out there. You can see, I mean there's an endless supply of widgets. I'm not going to go through and break them all down, but I'll be happy to show you guys how to install it and really customize it as you go. So for instance here, I have one of the most minimal uh, calendar widgets. I'm going to go ahead and add another widget really quick to the home screen. And before you can actually collect the data for a certain widget, you need to scroll down and act like you're putting one in by selecting a widget size. So we'll do a, let's do a smaller one, it'll be a two by two, and we'll add a widget just like you traditionally would. And then to set it up, that is when it automatically takes you into the app. And let's say we want to create a new widget for music. We'll use this little Flow 40, and you can see that is what the widget will look like. Now, if you're happy with it, you can leave it just as it is and hit add. But what's really amazing with this app is that you can technically edit every aspect of it. So you can see it has a solid white background color, but if you wanted to change the color on it, you'd be able to edit it accordingly and do that. You can actually not only do that, but you can change each individual layer up and even the shortcuts to what the apps do. So. Currently, there's no shortcut listed. It's purely, if you were to add this, it would take you right back into the KWGT app to edit it. But if you add a touch shortcut in it, and say you want to go ahead and add to open a notification, force weather update, you can see just how many options there are behind actions on them. So music player, you want to launch an app. So you'll click launch app and then you're going to want to select the app actually as well to go along with it. But aside from that, there is, oops, let me cancel that out. I'm going to make actually a different one for you that I think is a little cleaner. Let's use Music Mini Player and select it that way. But you can see that app that we added it's really tiny, you can expand out on it, but it doesn't do much after you already create the shortcut. The best option to edit it is actually clicking on it 
and going to the scale here and really maximizing it to what you need, saving it, and going out. You can see really how time consuming it can be to get a good setup you like, but this launcher right here is definitely one of the cleanest looks with this widget pack and the options that are available. I'll be happy to throw up a link to everything I'm using in this video down below if you'd like. Let me know what you guys would like to see in a future video. Are you interested in these kind of layouts? Somewhat more unique than, you know, some of the other ones that are out there, especially ones that come out of the box. But that's all for now, guys. I want to keep this video short and simple and really show you what you can really do if you take the time to adjust your Android device. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned to the next one. Subscribe, thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. Peace.